done, Zaba. You did 12 of these wooden animals, Nai Nai? The 12 animals of the Zodiac. Sagwa and Fufu, you're one team, and Dongwa, you and Shigwa are the other. It's not fair. I can't find any hidden animals. I see it. The monkey is in this tree here. How you doing, kid? Who are you? Why, I'm the guy who's going to help you win your game. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, where they know that the fun of playing and learning together is more than just good, it's great. Sogwo is made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Yes, yeah. Silly, that was a good chase. Looking snack. Mm. I'm gonna have to sample some of that. You hid 12 of these wooden animals, Nai Nai? That's right. The 12 animals of the zodiac. And whoever finds the most wins the game. Find them all? But there's a rabbit and an ox and a pig and a dog and. There's a lot! Oh, that's the fun part. Sagwa and Fufu, you're one team, and Dongwa, you and Shigwa are the other. Oh, great. <laughs> now, here's a hint. You'll find the wooden figures where the real animals in nature would be. At least, some of them. <laughs> huh? Huh? Ready, set, go! Watch it! <laughs> It's the most beautiful one yet, Bado. Thank you, Baba. 
I worked really hard to get it just right. And it shows. I think the judge from the village contest will be impressed. Yes, yes, yes. Very impressed. Well, I'm very impressed and hungry. Don't bump into the cookie, Baba. Oh, look out there. Hey, squash rat is not on the menu. I'm gonna need a plan B if I'm gonna get a taste of that. Anything? Nothing. Maybe you can slow down. No, we have to search all around the pond. Maybe you can hurry up. I'm trying. Come on, think of something. I just gotta get that cookie. What do we have here? Gotcha! <laughs> A rooster? I wasn't in the mood for fowl, but... Yeah! That does not taste like chicken! Oh. We need a new plan. We never had an old plan. Uh. What was Nai Nai's hint? We'll find the figures where the real animals would be in nature. Hmm. I know bats live in caves. And monkeys hang in trees. Okay, you fly up and search the trees. Excuse me, but there are a lot of trees. Foo foo. Which I can't wait to check out. I see it! The monkey's in this tree here! <laughs> Great work, Fufu! We have the monkey! And I have a headache. Great! One animal found, eleven more to go! The snake. Very good, Dongwa. Thanks, Nai Nai. I found it hiding in the grass near the pond. Um, where's Shikwa? Oh, uh, she's, you know, looking. Dongwa! Dongwa! It's not fair. I can't find any hidden animals. I'll never win this Zodiac game. Zodiac game? Get it now. How you doing, kid? Who are you? Why, I'm the guy who's gonna help you win your game. Huh? I just happen to know where all these uh figures are hidden. You do? Really? Yeah, really. And if you want, I can help you find them all. But I need you to do something for me first. <laughs> Snake. Very good. Two each. It's a close game. But where is Shigwa? Listen, here's the plan. I'm gonna start looking for these animals for you, see? Yes, yes! But first, I'm gonna need some food. You know, to keep the old energy up. Sure. No problem, Mr. Rancer. I'll just grab you some scraps and... Scraps? Here! Yeah. No, no, come back here. I want you to go into the palace and get a special walnut cookie for me. It's on the desk. Oh, I shouldn't do that. You want to win your game, don't you? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Now listen, here's what you gotta do. <laughs> Never mind. I'll show Dongwa I can play just as good as he can. You look here, Fufu. I'll check by the kitchen. Huh? Yes! 
Oh, such a feast. Um, I don't think you're gonna like this. It's... Whatever, whatever. What about the Zodiac animals? How many did you find? Uh, what? The animals for my game. You said you'd get them while I got you the cookie. Oh, yeah, sure, kid. Here you go. Cock-a-doodle-doo. But you already had this piece. What about the others? Yeah, uh, I looked, uh, but couldn't find any more. Too bad. Damn's the brakes, kid. But you said you would, Shigwa. <sighs> Ow! What's this? I tried to tell you. It's not a real cookie. Bottom made it out of clay. Clay? Is that one of the food groups? You! <gasps> oh, hello there. <laughs> Great to see you again. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> well, so long! I know your tricks, Rat. You stole this cookie. What are you talking about? I didn't take it. It was her. Shigwa, steal from the palace. Huh, nice try. No, really, we were in it together. <laughs> Tell her! Hmm. Look, I can explain! Oh, no you don't. Last time I listened to you, you got fat and I got in trouble. No, really, we made a deal. My sister wouldn't make a deal with you. Well... Huh? What? Well, Dongle left me behind and Mr. Rat was going to find the animals for me and... I didn't think Bado would miss it. Oh, she gua. Told ya. Well, see ya. But you <gasps> tricked me. You never found any animals like you said you would. <laughs> Easy, kitties. <laughs> Easy. Here's where I found it. <sighs> Goodbye, Cookie. Thanks for the toothache. There. Done. It's right over here, Honorable Judge. Very well-made piece. Excellently shaped, wonderfully painted. Thank you. And look here at these little marks. They look like teeth marks. Pure craftsmanship, true genius. True genius, wonderful news. I'm so proud of you, Vado. <laughs> but I didn't put teeth marks. What can I say? I'm an artiste. Well, sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> Gotta go. I know. I should have never taken it. I guess I was just mad about being so bad at the game. Well, you know, the rat is in the Zodiac. And I haven't found any animals yet. <laughs> Some of my favorite times of the day are meal times. And dessert time is super yummy. I bet you agree. But did you know that desserts really aren't that big a deal in China? In fact, a typical dessert would be fresh fruit or candied ginger. Sweet dishes are eaten at big banquets or holidays, but not every day. One of my all-time favorite desserts are moon cakes. We eat these during the Moon Festival, an important Chinese holiday. It's like a cookie, stuffed with different sweet fillings. Some mooncakes have an egg yolk in the middle, which looks like a bright moon. These delicious round cakes symbolize family togetherness. One last thing. Did you know that fortune cookies aren't really Chinese at all? They are an American invention. What about you? Do you have a favorite dessert? Kisses, lollipops. More and other kinds of candies. I love pinatas because you could, because it's fun to hit them, and it's fun to jump in and get all the candy. I would normally hit it sideways, or if it has a flat bottom, I would hit it upwards. If I could make a pinata, I would probably make a big humongous lollipop. Now that's a great story. My sweet tooth is throbbing. Hmm, my other sweet tooth wants to go to Russia. 
where they're making Rowanberry jam. Yummy! Jam is very popular in Russia. The berry for this jam comes from the Rowan tree, which some people believe has magical powers. You can eat these berries right off the tree, even if they are pretty bitter. But add a little sugar while you cook, and ta-da! A delicious jam. It seems people all over the world have one big sweet tooth. What about you? Next on Sagwa. Taking you on an imperial expedition. There's going to be a lot of work to do. When Uncle Meow puts me in charge, we'll be sure to find that old meteor in no time. I'm the oldest and most responsible. If anyone leads the expedition, it's gonna be me. Well, he gave me the map, but he gave me the scroll. I want you to run messages between the diggers and the historian. Run messages? Oh. Come on, Sagwa. Uncle Meow will be here any minute. I know. I can't wait. We're gonna see so many things. Mountains, a huge crater, a meteor shower! Remember, your uncle's taking you on an imperial expedition. There's going to be a lot of work to do. Why can't I go too, Mama? You're just a little young, that's all. Yeah, and the meteor shower's way past your bedtime anyway. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, Shigua. Come on, Sagwa, let's get ready. Is it true that nobody's ever found any pieces of the ancient meteor, Uncle Meow? One explorer, the original eyewitness, came close. What happened? He passed away before he could find any. But luckily, we have his original map. And his original scroll, describing where the meteorite might be. When Uncle Meow puts me in charge, we'll be sure to find that old meteor in no time. I'm the oldest and most responsible. If anyone leads the expedition, it's gonna be me. Well, he gave me the map, but he gave me the scroll. Sagwa, I'm so proud of you. You have discovered a piece of the ancient meteor. <sighs> Uncle Meow, according to my calculations, the shower should begin any second. Dongwa, you just might work with the Imperial Astronomer one day. How about a game of Chuocho, Shigua? Hmm. What about a trip to Singbad's? You can help me work on the latest opera. Hmm. Is there anything you want to do, Shigua? I wanted to go on the expedition, but you and Mama wouldn't let me. <sighs> Here is where we will get started. Come on! I have just the job for you. I want you to run messages between the diggers and the historian. Run messages? Oh. Come on, Dongwa. I have a perfect job for you. Looks like you're really in charge, Sagwa. Look here, Dongwa. Hey, this is written in the old style. Exactly. I remember your father mentioned to me how well you are doing with your study of ancient calligraphy. 
So, you want me to lead an expedition after reading it? No, we have plenty of people doing that. I need you to prepare a modern translation. But there's so much! It'll take me forever to translate this. I'm sure you'll get it done quicker than you think. Look at the expedition leader. <laughs> some real exploring. I know. I thought I would be digging for the meteor, not writing. I could have stayed home for that. Hey, maybe tomorrow something really exciting will happen. We have to dig them out! Save the entire expedition. Nice fantasy, Sogwa. But I'm sure tomorrow will be just as boring as today. Well, at least the meteor shower will be exciting. Hey, Shigwa, any idea where the best place would be to watch that meteor shower tonight? Hey, what's wrong? I'm tired of being the little one. I couldn't go with Uncle Meow. I won't even get to watch that neat meteor shower. Hey, don't worry. I'm sure that next year you'll be old enough to see it. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first bat in the Imperial Circus. Whoa. <laughs> 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 You're so silly, Fufu. Hmm, I guess the pagoda would be a pretty great spot. That's a perfect idea. I knew you'd have the answer. What did Fufu want, Shigua? Oh, he was just wondering where he could watch the meteor shower. Everyone's going to get to see it but me. <laughs> Seems important. I better go and tell Uncle Meow. <laughs> Phew! Finally. Very good, Dongwa. I'm impressed. Come quick! I think they found something. Come on, 
We have to get ready for dinner. You two did a wonderful job these past couple of days. I'm so proud of you. Uh, uh, thanks. thanks! You don't have to pretend, Uncle Meow. We know that our jobs weren't really important. Mm, not as exciting as you thought they'd be, huh? Hmm. How do you think that digger knew where to search for the meteorite? I guess because you and the historian told his team to search in that area. But you and the historian had to use the old scroll to figure out where the meteorite might be. Yeah, and... And I translated the scroll! And Solgwa took messages to the diggers to let them know where to dig. Wow! So we really did help find the meteor. Exactly. You seem to be in better spirits, Shigwa. Well, yesterday was kind of yucky. But I guess I had fun today. Can I be excused? I'm going to go to bed. Well, I heard there's this big meteor shower tonight. <gasps> you wouldn't want to miss that, would you? But what about my bedtime? It's a special occasion. I think we can make an exception to the rules. I wonder, where would be the best place to see the shower? The roof is no good, and the trees by the fish pond block the view from there. Hmm. I know the perfect place. You know what? We did a good job finding that meteor. A great job. Of course, my job was more important than yours. Just kidding. Wow. This is the best spot, Shigua. Just think. When your brother and sister come home, you can tell them you saw the same meteor shower they did. Not exactly the same. They didn't get to watch it with you. <laughs> to learn more about Sagwa, visit us at pbskids.org. Kellogg's Fruit Loops is proud to sponsor programming that stimulates children's growth and sense of adventure. Sagwa was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.